Well, after 93 odd minutes of not a lot really, step forward Galeno, Porto's Brazilian boy, with an absolute corker deep into injury time. And Brian Kerr, how much does that change the context of this tie now looking into the second leg? Well, it certainly gives uh, Porto a real chance now. I mean, neither team played particularly well in the match. Porto played to the tactics the manager defined for them and played well in that they um, prevented Arsenal having any clear-cut opportunities in the whole game. Arsenal were very ineffective compared to the team we talked about pre-match and the 21 goals in the last five games. I hardly had a shot, I don't think, tonight on target. No but shots on target. No shot on target. Very, and played poorly and turned over the ball um, frequently when they had possession, had opportunities to get forward. And that the goal was kind of typical in that it was quite scrappy in the build-up to it. And Martinelli gave the ball away and then Galano, Galano came up with that magnificent effort. But it was completely out of sync with how the game was played. There wasn't much quality in the game at all. But Arsenal is still in it. To be very, very disappointed. They have, Damien talked about the second half, that they weren't, their approach was a bit conservative. I think it was. But nonetheless, when they put Jorginho on, that was the team that beat Liverpool 3-1 and played They didn't put him under any well. pressure all match, did they? No, no. He, 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 and... he doddled through the game. He was very, very good. He was never under pressure. No running in behind. Um, but I don't think they expected to win themselves but they had a bit more of a go than Arsenal did so mm. they probably just about deserved to shade it Take up that point Richard uh, Damien picked up on it as Brian says in commentary just at full time there and certainly he seemed to feel that it was it was a sort of a punishment for Arsenal in a sense or a moral punishment if you like for not having more of a go he said not going after that Porto team more you said it before the game Arsenal could look to go there put the tie to bed with the, with the attacking prowess that they had do you feel that they just didn't have the intent to do so tonight? Yeah I think when you're a team that's in the form that Arsenal are in they've scored 23 goals or whatever it is in five games they've won the five games managers can overthink it and start to go right well we need to be a little bit tactical about this I remember years ago playing against Teddy Sheringham, who was 40, and he was a really good player because he's Teddy Sheringham. But my manager just said, just run in and take the ball off him. He's 40. He can't <laughs> run you. Same as Pepe, he can't run. Get, get at him. And every time Martinelli looks scared, he'd get past one player and then he'd see the next one coming and he'd sort of dangle a toe in and that'd be him away from it. Havertz was pulling out 50-50s. They looked weak mentally up front, Arsenal, that front five. And I think the way they've played in recent weeks... They should be going there full of confidence. The manager should say, right, be aware because you're obviously against the good side, but let's have a go at them. Let's put them under some sort of pressure. Let's get full backs up the pitch. I think Ben White got forward once mm. in the first half. So every time Saka comes in, you, that's to try and create space out wide. Nobody was filling in. I just think there was a, it's a missed opportunity for Arsenal. I, I still believe they'll go, they'll beat them at home, but I thought tonight was very disappointing. Missed opportunity. They do have 90 minutes uh, at the Emirates to sort it out. Uh, he came close in the first half, didn't he, Galeno? But then he came up with the goods deep into injury time. 1-0 Porto.